Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and with 2.4 being in live release at this point, there's a lot of people that are probably wondering what they should be doing in-game, especially now that we have alpha currency in place. So I wanted to take you through some tips and kind of give you some advice to help get you started. Now as I get more playtime and have more things to add, I'll probably end up doing a follow-up video to this. Um, but in the meantime, for those of you that have been playing a lot or have something to add, please feel free to put them in the comments so we can help get other players started. Now first things first, um, with some level of persistence being added into the game, we're getting our first taste of insurance and what it's like to lose your ship. And when you die, you're going to either have a countdown timer on when you can spawn that same ship again, or you can end up opting to pay the insurance premium to get it back immediately. But you shouldn't feel like you have to do that. Now if you have another spacecraft, grab that one and get back out there. Or I believe the timer works when you're out of game as well, so you could just go do something else for a little bit and come back. That being said, you don't really need to step away either. You know, there's plenty of ships and pilots out there that are looking for people with, uh, you know, that are willing to turret gun or operate their shields. You know, get on the chat, say that you're wanting to kind of help out because you're waiting on your cooldown timer, uh, and chances are pretty high that you're going to have a taker or two to have you crew their ship for them. Now, finding ways to make money can be a bit confusing at first, but the easiest way to get started is just to hit the F1 key to actually bring up your Moby Glass. Then hit Scheduler to see what options are out there. The Comaray missions are almost always available, and they're going to end up paying out 1,000 Alpha UEC to go out there and turn it back on. Now, just be aware that in most situations, there's going to be pirates waiting there for you, so you're going to need to kill a few of them to get you know, into the Comaray safely. Now they're not real difficult to deal with, they're not super hardcore, uh, but you know you probably should be prepared that you're going to be in a fight in most situations. Now if you're looking for a little bit less combat focused way to earn currency, there are wrecks that are kind of dotted around the asteroid belt at Yella. And once you jump in, get yourself into cruise mode and look for the green lights that are going to signify a wreck with crates laying around. And you can find guns, uh, which is nice, but you, what you really want are going to find these boxes are going to have ammo crates and boxes that look like they've got booze containers in them. And once you actually grab them using the F key, they immediately convert into UEC, normally about 1,000 per crate that you find. And you can check your tally by hitting F1 for Moby Glass, uh, get to the main screen, and your total is going to be in the upper right-hand corner. Some of these wrecks are going to present you with situations where you need to fight off some pirates, but the numbers are typically pretty low, and in a lot of these wrecks, you're not going to have anybody to deal with. The ICC probe is going to give you missions to complete as well, like researching a strange signal or helping out at a distress beacon. And these typically pay out better than you're going to find for repairing comrades, normally about 2,500 right now. I always suggest using the Moby Glass and checking out that or checking that little hexagonal icon uh, to keep track of your missions, it's basically so you know what you're doing and to ensure that you get that augmented reality prompt on your screen to keep you in the right direction. These oftentimes are going to end up with uh, some pirates spawning, um, and most of the time they are, who you're going to end up needing to kill. And then you can either save the ship that's in need, or you can find the black box and hit F to hear that message. And after you've completed the task, you're going to want to head back to the probe to collect your payment and to take on another mission. But before heading back, though, I'd encourage you all to look for other wrecks and green lights that you can find around that area. Because a lot of times you're going to be able to find more money there to really help you maximize your profits. Which is especially important considering now you're actually paying for quantum fuel. And these missions can be a little bit further away uh, than most of your other travels within the system. Speaking of having to pay for maintenance right now, um, you're coming out of pocket at Cry Astro to pay for repairs, munitions, and fuel. Now to make sure that you're keeping your costs down, I'd encourage you all to run energy weapons if you're comfortable doing so, because in that situation you're not having to pay to replace your ammo. For example, my Super Hornet right now is running Panthers and Badgers, because it's enough firepower for what we have, and I'm not using missiles because they're expensive to replace. So if you're interested in running a different loadout on your ship, you no longer need to spawn in the hangar to really use that hollow table to make the changes. Instead, at Port Alizar, spawn your ship and head out to it on the pad. And while it's on the pad, you can end up using the port modification system to make your changes there. This is a really nice change, and the equipment actually sticks better than it did before, and your loadout is going to persist between sessions. The short version of how to do this is just to look at the little plus signal, hit the left mouse button, and choose what you want to equip onto that uh, hard point. Now, if you want a more detailed explanation, the video in the outro will actually link you to the video where I walk you through this process in a little bit more detail. Uh, one final note, and this is a big one, don't enter the airlock without a spacesuit on. There is a big red sign there reminding you of it, but if you do, you will die. 
So when you spawn in your Habby Cube, um, look to see if you can see a mask on your face. It's visible to your player. Uh, and if you don't see it, look down at your body. Because if you're seeing civilian clothes, you're not dressed properly to enter the vacuum of space. So change in the locker that's actually in your Habby Cube, or hit the locker by the airlock to get properly attired so you don't die. So there's other ways to have fun and to do more in this release right now. So if you haven't got in yet, I would highly encourage you all to do, you know, get out there and give it a try. Um, and as I said, if you guys have other easy start tips for players, please put them in the comments so we can kind of help this whole community as a whole get started. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more content that's coming soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.